The Shield is an excellent TV show that seems to be overlooked whenever people put together their big TV series retrospective lists. I mean, it's not like the show is really underrated. The thing ran for seven seasons, and it's on IMDb's top 250 TV shows of all time. But every time I ask someone if they've seen The Shield, they go, Oh yeah, I know Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I go, No! No! I'm talking about Vic Mackey, man. I'm talking about Shane Vendrell. Dutch Wagenbach. I hate to say it, but our best hope is that this deviant's got the boy chained up to a fence somewhere, loves his ass so much, can't give it up for a few days. That's what's up, hey, asshole! Hey, hey, hey. The Shield is great. Probably the second best cop show right after The Wire. That's only if you really want to call The Wire a cop show. It's a little reductive, honestly. It's like calling Twin Peaks a mystery show. It's like, there's a little more to it than that, you know? I would highly recommend The Shield to anyone who hasn't seen it. It's full of complex, compelling characters and tackles deep subject matter through excellent writing and heavy realism. I mean, hell, not too many shows get people like Glenn Close and Forrest Whitaker as season-long guest stars. This guy is just pissing! He's pissing all over us! He's pissing on you! What, what does it taste like? Forrest Whitaker's arc is great, by the way. He does some seriously intense weight fluctuation that is extra impressive and subtle since it happens over the course of so many episodes. The camera work is really standout in The Shield. Every scene is full of bold and intense camera movements. The way this drama was shot multi-cam with such wildly dynamic camera operators seriously brings it up to the next level. It's worth watching behind the scenes footage of this show just to see how scenes were covered, especially on network TV deadlines. And that's not even getting into how great of a character Dutch Wagenbach is or how the show was moving most people's first exposure to the immense talent of Walton Goggins. I want to focus in on one moment in particular today. It comes from the penultimate episode of the entire show, so it's obviously a huge spoiler. And beyond being a spoiler, it also won't likely have any impact on you at all if you've never seen the show before. But that's actually part of what makes it so great. There will be spoilers moving forward. This is your final warning. Today I'm talking about Vic's confession scene, and even more specifically, the long silence he takes before beginning his confession. This moment sticks in my mind as easily the most powerful moment of the entire show, and arguably one of the most compelling moments in all of television. It's a moment that does not function in isolation. It needs every previous episode of the show in order to hold the weight that it does. All 88 prior episodes of The Shield culminate in this one moment. Anytime you're ready. During a raid on a drug dealer named Two Time. I shot and killed Detective Terry Crowley. The scene lingers in silence for a full 42 seconds as Vic gathers his thoughts before confessing to the premeditated murder of a fellow cop and every other crime he's been a part of over the last seven seasons. This is a great performance moment, possibly the highlight of Michael Chiklis's career. You can see so many thoughts racing through his mind as he struggles with this heavy moment. He's about to come clean on a life-shattering secret that he's done everything in his power to keep hidden for years. These 42 seconds of silence make us as a viewer go through a similar mental process as Vic. We're forced to reflect on everything we've seen Vic do to remember all of his crimes and covering up every regrettable action and twisted outcome. Right alongside Vic, we use this moment of silence to think back to the murdering of Detective Terry Crowley, robbing the money train, getting Ronnie disfigured, losing Lem, falling out with Shane, all the people he's hurt and lied to and screwed over. It's a powerful use of sound, or the lack thereof. This moment plays out with just room tone and the oppressive ticking of time marching on as we flash through mental cue cards of every heinous act we've watched Vic commit. The ticking clock makes every single one of these 42 seconds 
feel heavy. 42 seconds might not sound like a long time, but on broadcast television, it's an eon. It is exceedingly rare to find a scene on TV that slows all the way down like this, even more rare for this time to play out silently. A more intrusive network would shorten the moment. A lesser television show would run through a flashback montage of these moments that Vic is reflecting on. But The Shield trusts its viewers enough to remember on their own, and knows that holding on Vic's face is far more powerful than any cutaways could ever hope to be. What was important to me, and the things that are always most important to me on The Shield, are the moments between the lies. This pre-confession silence is a reflection on the entire show that came before it. This 42 second long hesitation isn't really silence, it's muted agony and regret and mistrust and chaos in reflection. It is hands down the most powerful moment in a show that I count among my favorites. It's a bold choice. 42 seconds of near silence is what would usually be considered dead air and would be eliminated with extreme prejudice. It was a move that the creative team had to fight for, and I'm glad they did. Thanks for watching my video essay. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video with others if you enjoyed it. I've wanted to talk about this scene for a while. I actually first wrote a draft of this essay three years ago. I even shot and edited the damn thing, but then I didn't end up releasing it because I didn't think it was good enough. Now it's three years later and I took another crack at it starting my analysis over from scratch. I knew I had to cover the scene at some point, and I've genuinely continued thinking about it for these past three years. Always going, I gotta make another go at that scene. So thanks for watching how it finally turned out. I'll see you in the next video, and yeah, this is just my voice. If you don't like it, go away. I don't care. Bye.